My name is Alex Westmore. I'm not a professional artist or anything. I'm, I'm a regular person. So I, six months ago, I had never stepped in this immersive art space. So a lot like a normal illustration, you'll start with like a wireframe and then build on it. The cool thing in VR that is different than on paper, you know, um, at least for me, um, was you could just layer things outwards. You can, you, like, if you were to erase backwards through the sculpture, you could go back all the way and see the wireframe like in the middle as like the skeleton. Especially for Optimus Prime, given he's got these compartments of his body that are very separated. You just go block by block, you know, very gestural and like rough at first, and then just go in and add details as you go, go on. The cool thing in this environment is you can move it, you can, you can scale it to whatever size is most appropriate if something is supposed to be. If, if it's, it's easiest to work on on a smaller size, but then you want it to be viewed in a big size or vice versa, you can do that. I don't think you can do that in any other medium as easily. Certain types of designs work better than others, I've found. Um, um, like, let's say Optimus Prime, uh, because of the use of the ruler, the straight edge in tilt brush, you can do things much faster than you would be able to um, otherwise. Um, I would say if anybody else wants to try it, just get in there and spend time. You'll be surprised about how fun it is and how quickly you'll pick up on the space of it. Super Cake.